Hey everyone, Jared Gaspi, your local real estate superhero here again. So we are doing our morning gratitudes because everyone knows that I start my mornings off with things that I'm grateful for because I feel like they just kind of put me in a better headspace whenever we get ready to start tackling the day. And so I'm really excited to share some of this stuff because one of them in particular made me feel really good and I'm kind of excited to share that kind of stuff with you guys. So starting off, uh, I put number one, I just had a really peaceful day yesterday. Um, I don't feel like yesterday was the best day in the world. But it really started off with kind of a funk. I, I didn't feel bad, but I didn't feel great starting off the day. And so it just was sort of this weird lull type of feeling that I didn't really like. But as the day went on, I kept going and I kept accomplishing stuff. And I kept working through the things that I needed to do for the day. And it felt really good. And it also didn't feel hyper rushed or like I didn't have enough time. And so instead of it feeling like a super productive day, even though I accomplished a lot... It felt more like, I don't know, just a very peaceful kind of day. It was very tranquil in a weird way. And I did do a lot, but it was kind of nice to not feel like everything was happening at once. And so it's a kind of a small one, but that's number one. Number two, I've been putting, I've been waking up earlier. Everyone knows that I've been trying to wake up earlier. Um, I work quite a bit. So we're, you know, on a minimum, I usually work around 12 hours a day, if not more. And so when I say that, that means that whenever I go to bed, sleep has always been the one thing that's been an issue for me. So unless I have an appointment or a reason to wake up early, I tend not to prioritize that up until recently. And so when I say that, I mean recently has been a challenge for me because I've been trying to basically make my morning and nightly routine a lot better. And that's not easy for me because like I said, you know, I basically work until the point that I'm crashing and then wake up and I start doing it again which is awesome because I love what I do but I think I needed more control and so I've been working on waking up a lot earlier and I've been able to watch the sunrise the last two days and so I'm really happy about that and so no complaints there but number three I put being trusted by people in my neighborhood so I had a neighbor reach out yesterday uh, because I try to basically supply everyone that I know with any of the tools that I have. Um, anytime I go on like a listing presentation, I tell people that it's probably one of my biggest weaknesses is I'm never going to hide, you know, what it is that I'm going to be doing from everyone. And it makes it to where, you know, I'm basically going to give you my list of vendors that I'd recommend. You're going to get all the, the websites that I can generate that don't require a listing agreement to be made. I'm going to give those to you. And I do that to my neighbors as well. So I have a neighborhood website that I've made that I make access for all of my neighbors. And I, I basically do market reports for my neighborhoods. So that way all my neighbors can keep in touch and know what's going on. And I just try to make it as accessible as possible. And I had one neighbor reach out yesterday who was just using some of the, the resources that I've left available and just said, thank you for making this so available. You know, I'm not going to go into who it is or what their situation is. But they're, they're considering moving, and it's really nice to know that they look at me as a resource, and that's kind of what the goal is, is I never want to just be an agent. I never just want to be, you know, the realtor in the area. I want to be a resource to all my neighbors, even if they're not planning on moving. And so it's, it's a bittersweet thing, because I never want my neighbors to move, but I also want to be the person that's there to help them whenever they do. And so that's sort of the position that I'm in. But it just feels good to have neighbors that are to the point where they're looking for the stuff that I've given them in the past because they know it'll help them and they trust in me and my abilities to ask for my advice in order to get somewhere. So thank you. <laughs> Number four is totally off topic from that. And I put baked ziti. So um, we've been cooking more frequently because, you know, of 2020 in a nutshell. And so we made baked ziti yesterday and I was really hungry yesterday and I did do a lot, like I said. And so I didn't have a whole lot of time to just goof off and eat food. And so ultimately we ended up making baked ziti for dinner and it was just kind of awesome. I'm like, I don't know, there's no complaints. That's all there is to it. So that's number four. Number five, um, I, was, I put being able to help my wife. Uh, my wife struggles with a lot of different things, uh, both health wise, and more so, and so um, we were going and she had a, a telephone checkup admittedly, but she was getting a checkup from a doctor yesterday and she was just kind of giving them the rundown of the situation, which I will not be going into detail on, but 
going through the rundown of the situation and some of the things that she's been doing and not doing, and I came into question at some point, and the doctor said that she should listen to one of the things that I've been kind of having her do, and it felt really good uh, because, you know, my wife, myself, our doctors, we're all on the kind of the same page, and, you know, I'm not going to pretend like I'm the best husband in the world. You know, I, I'm very... I mean, I, I know that I can do more and that I strive to always be doing more, but it does feel good to know that I can do some good and that I've been kind of helping. Because it's, you know, I always kind of question it because I'm not an authority on a lot of this stuff. And so whenever I say like, hey, we should go do this, you know, that might, this might help. Um, you know, I always kind of question it to a degree. And so to hear that, you know, like, no, yeah, you know, that's a, it's a really good idea. Keep double down on that, kind of focus on that and it'll slowly start making things better. Like it feels good. And again, I'm not going to go into detail because it's not my issues to talk about, but it is issues that I'm helping with and it's helping someone that I really care about. And so that means more to me than anything else. <laughs> and so, yes, I'm very happy about that. I'm very excited. And so we're, we're working on this stuff together and we're going to keep powering through it together because that's what a team's supposed to be, baby. Woo. Yes. Okay. So these are my five things that I'm grateful for. And thank you guys for watching. My question is very simple because two things today that I'm grateful for from yesterday are based around me kind of helping people. And so when's the last time that you felt like you were really able to help someone? That's a good one because that's something where it's like it's always good to be appreciative of something else impacting you. But when's the last time that you felt really good about yourself because you went and impacted someone else? When's the last time that you went out of your way in order to help someone? Let me know down in the comments below. If you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe because YouTube gets this weird kick out of this. Also comment down below with your answers. And if you're watching this on Facebook, please comment down below with your answers or send them in Messenger because I really like the one-on-one -on -one interaction that you can get through Facebook. And it just means the world to me to kind of hear some of your guys' stories. So let me know down below. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I will talk to you later and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye.